Good day to our active learners from grade 8. Welcome to our on-air class. This is your on-air teacher for today, Teacher Kurt Cesar de Padua from Bamban National High School, always at the service of the Filipino learners. At this moment, please get your guided learning activity kit entitled Comets, Asteroids, and Meteors. We will use the guided learning activity kit as a reference to our lesson written by our brilliant and hard-working science teacher, Ms. Marilyn D. Joaquin. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify different beliefs and practices about comets, meteors, and asteroids in the Philippines and other countries. Discuss whether beliefs and practices about comets and meteors have scientific basis. Comets and meteors have intrigued humans since they were first seen in the night sky. But without science and space exploration to help us in our understanding of what these chunks of rocks and ice are, ancient civilizations often turn to myth and legend to enlighten them. Before moving on to discuss whether beliefs and practices about comets and meteors have scientific basis, let us recall some facts about the topic on our last module. We mentioned that meteoroid can come from comets. Comets orbit the sun and leave fragments along their orbit as they continue their journey around the sun. These fragments continue orbit the sun just like their parents' comet. When Earth orbits the sun and passes through the orbit, of a comet where these comet fragments are found. We observe many streaks of light from Earth, which is called a meteor shower. Remember, a meteor and a meteor shower are light phenomena. They are not stars. Now, let us begin to discuss the beliefs or practices and the scientific facts about comets, meteors, and asteroids in the Philippines and other countries, which summarize as table on page 4 to 6. Throughout history, people have watched the bright objects called comets in the sky. At first, people knew very few facts about comets, so they made up stories and beliefs about them. Their ideas often made comets seem threatening and powerful. Gradually, people began to observe records and compare information of different comets. They began trying to explain comets using the tools and methods of science. Many ancient people believed that the appearance of a comet was a sign of bad luck to come. Others saw them as a sign of great events or rise and fall of a leader. They were not sure of the source of origin of comets. The Greeks and Romans believed that the appearance of comets, meteors, and meteor showers were signs that something good or bad had happened or was about to happen. The arrival of a comet could herald the birth of a great figure, and some people had even argued that the star in the sky which the Persian Magi followed to Bethlehem to see the newborn Jesus was a comet. As a scientific fact, comets, meteors, and asteroids when they fall on Earth might cause more damage on the ground due to the environmental effects triggered by the impact. Such effects can be shock waves, heat radiation, the formations of craters, with associated with earthquakes and tsunamis if water bodies are hit. For the beliefs and practices of Chinese and Japanese, they saw likeness between a comet's tail and the bundle of twigs in a broom, that this broom will sweep away the old and give them new hope. The scientific facts about these beliefs 
are the comets are frozen, leftovers from the formations of solar system composed of dust, rocks, and ices. They range from a few miles to tens of miles wide, but as they orbit closer to the sun, they heat up these few gases and dust into glowing head and resembles the Chinese men saw as room. Comet's influence on cultures is not limited simply to tales of myth and legend. Comets throughout history have been blamed for some history's darkest times. In Switzerland, Halley's Comet was blamed for earthquakes, illnesses, red rain, and even the birds of two-headed animals. The appearance of comets and the occurrence of earthquake illnesses and the red rain in Switzerland might be a coincidence. Most comets are silvery gray, but some are yellowish or reddish. The comet reappeared in 1145 accompanied by great earthquake. The Romans recorded that a fiery comet marked the assassination of Julius Caesar and another was blamed of the extreme bloodshed during the battle between Pompey and Caesar. In England, Halley's Comet was blamed for bringing the Black Death and war. Back in the 17th century, European believed that comets affected weather and helped produce superior wines. Science explained that the comets cause warmer temperature and therefore causes higher sugar concentrations in wine grapes, resulting to an excellent production of wine. The Roman historian Cassius Dio referred to comet stars occurring in August 30 BC. These are mentioned as among warnings after the death of the Egyptian queen Cleopatra. Some have connected this recorded event to the annual Perseid meteor shower. The meteor shower is named for the Perseidae who were the son of the ancient Greek hero Perseus. Perseus was a legendary figure who was the mythical son of Hu. In the Philippines, our elders believe that the Bulalakaw, Hiligaynon term of word for meteors, is believed by the people as the falling star from the sky. If this kind of omen is sighted, one needs only to wish and it will always come true. Bulalakaw, also known as the bird of illness and pestilence, is regarded more of an omen that whenever a comet is seen, disease is sure to follow. It was also believed that anyone who sees the shooting star that fell to earth would be seriously blinded as a punishment from the god or would suffer from a terrible illness. Sambabailan, also known today as Albulario, would also burn some sacred kamangyan incense to appease the forest spirit and drive out the illness from the tribes, prompting Bulalakaw to leave and take the sickness. Another superstitious belief is that if the tail of the comet shaped like a broom, a famine will come. On the other hand, if the tail shape in a pointed form like a sword, a war or battle is impending. Does this belief has a scientific basis? No. Scientific basis of your wish come true, it is because you have worked hard for it. Comet's appearance and meteor shower occurs on rainy season. When sickness is widespread in the community due to lack of modern medicine and proper hygiene and sanitation observed by ancient community. <clears throat> Anyone who sees light from a fireball, which is three times as bright as the sun would suffer from photokeratitis, a temporary blindness caused by intense ultraviolet radiation. I hope that scientific fact enlightened your mind on Filipino superstitious belief about comets, meteors, and asteroids. As a student, how are you going to correct the superstition to people who still believe in it? What are you going to tell them? 
your answer may vary depending on how you are going to tell them. Your response matters. So this time, please allow your science teacher to check your answer as you submit your output to them during the Litima schedule. Now, let us proceed to the second part of the assessment. You are going to write if the statement is a fact, if it is supported by scientific evidence, and bluff if not. Number one, anyone who sees the shooting star that fell to earth would be seriously blinded as a punishment from the god or would suffer from an incurable illness. Is it a fact or a bluff? Number two, the martyrdom of St. Lawrence occurred when the meteor shower was at its height and so the shooting star are equated with the same tears. Is it a fact or a bluff? Number three, meteors are believed by the people as the falling star from the sky. If one sighted a falling star, they need only to wish and their wish will come true. Is it a fact or a bluff? Number four, the discovery of Halley's Comet be appearing every 75 to 76 years became the answer to the fear of people on comets. Is it a fact or a bluff? Number five, the passing of a comet was believed to mark the killing of Julius Caesar. Is it a fact or a bluff? Okay, time to reveal the answers. Anyone who sees the shooting star that fell to Earth would be seriously blinded as a punishment from the God or would suffer from the incurable illness. It is a fact. Number two, the martyrdom of St. Lawrence occurred when the nature shower was at its height and so the shooting stars are equated to St. Tears. It is a fact. Number three, meteors are believed by the people as the falling star from the sky. If one sighted a falling star, they need only to wish and their wish will come true. It's a bluff. The discovery of Halley's Comet reappearing every 75 to 76 years became the answer to the fear of people on Comet. It is a fact. Number five, the passing of a comet was believed to mark the killing of Julius Caesar. It is a bluff. How is your score so far? I'm proud you did a great job. You are doing great. You will always bear in mind that there are better things than getting a high score. What is important is you learn from your mistakes and become better learner at the end. So, that is how you identify different beliefs and practices about comets, meteors, and asteroids in the Philippines and other countries. You can now be able to discuss whether beliefs and practices about comets and meteors have scientific basis. Our dear parents, guardian, and learning facilitators, your guidance can make a difference on how well your children can accomplish the learning task. Kindly provide them assistance. Thank you for your support to possibly accomplish the task and for gradually helping them become independent learners. If you have questions, just message your science teacher. I am sure they could help you. I know you can do it, learners. Let us help each other to make this new normal education successful. Once again, this is your on-air teacher, Kurt Cesar de Padua of Bamban National High School. Thank you, learners. Have a good day.